Hey there. When Shirley and I first moved into the cabin here on Huckleberry Hill, there was a problem right behind the cabin that we noticed. Uh, a very tall pine tree had been struck by lightning and was beginning to turn yellow uh, and die. We had a tree man uh, look at it. He was here on the property doing some other work and, and he gave me a price to uh, lay it down. And that's what he did. He put it on the ground and, and he cut it and it, it got hung up in a third pine tree. So for the price of one, we ended up with three nice pine trees on the ground. And that was a year and a month ago. And I've just now gotten around to uh, getting the sawmill up and running and I've played with it a little bit. And it's time to do something with these pine trees so that they don't just rot away. And we're out here uh, working on that process of getting saw logs, eight foot long saw logs, from where they lay on the ground about 100 to 150 feet to the sawmill without using any kind of hydraulics or machinery to lift and move these logs. And, and these particular logs, uh, each one of them weighs between four and 500 pounds. Now, how does someone my age and my stature, I'm in pretty good shape for my age, I, you know, let me say that, but how does somebody of my age and my stature move a four to 500 pound log without the assistance of hydraulics and, and winches and things like that? I'm going to show you uh, how I do it. And uh, hang around, watch, and see how it's done. What I've got here is just a simple uh, half inch grass rope. Uh, it's not very strong. You wouldn't want to uh, stake your life on it. But what we're doing here, it works well enough. The first thing we want to do is we want to take this rope and go under that log. We want to come back over it, go around it again, and back over it. Now what I've done with this, this particular rope is I've got it stretched out behind me uh, so that it's, a, I don't have all that loose rope in my way. And this particular log is odd shaped. I don't know how well, is it this one that's odd shaped? One of these is really odd shaped. I, that might, it may be that one. I don't know how well it's gonna roll, but you know, instead of trying to pick the log up and fish that rope under it, I'm just simply gonna roll the log until I can get to this end of the rope. All right, there's the tail of my, my rope. Yeah. I want to do that again. One more time. I got a little stump there in my way. goes under, around, under again, and back to me. 
Now, to move this rope, if this were a really heavy log, and four to five hundred pounds is, 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 is pretty heavy, this same pine log or this same pine material, if it were 20 inches in diameter on the small end and 22 inches on the other end, it would be a thousand pounds or better of log. Something that heavy, I would want to attach the long rope to something solid. That way I could use both hands to pull on this end of the rope. As it is, I can simply stand on the rope to keep it from moving. And generally, with one hand, pull that log and make it come with me anywhere I want it to go. What happens at times is the rope will cross itself and, and take a bite upon itself and you just simply have to uncross it and keep rolling the log. Now we've arrived at a point where I need to turn this log 90 degrees to head toward the sawmill. And I'm going to set up and do that. I'll probably uh, not do it with the rope. I may do it with the rope, I don't know. Uh, I may use the PV to do that. I'll, I'll make that decision when I get in the middle of it. If I want that log to go in that direction, I want to chop this end of it. Mosquitoes are the size of uh, airplanes here. Probably should move you back again. Also, what I'm going to do to assist me in turning the log is I'm going to move my rope more toward this end.
that's pretty much the process of how to move a log from where it fell to where you want it. And there's, uh, there's other tricks that, uh, like loading it onto the sawmill, using a rope and ramps to get it up onto the bed. And we'll cover that in another video uh, at some point in the near future. Appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more.